Okay. Hi, welcome to the recording. Uh, this is on Dane Naru's channel, and we're gonna play Once Upon a Time this week. Last time we had so much fun with Jumanji, even though it was a short, like, 20 minute game. Dane's gonna do his intro now. Because <laughs> Dane just keeps up pulling out cards, thinking that we're gonna play every single freaking deck for the first <laughs> time. Yeah, I might have to. Uh, that's usually, that's usually how I do. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name you know, is Dane Rue. Welcome back to the Tabletop stars, Simulator. While well, Wildek interrupts my intro. Well, this game includes interruptions, Dane. It is very well in the in the uh, in the spirit it's, of the game. Yes. It's very well in the spirit of the game. Welcome to <laughs> Once Upon a Time. A game where it's primarily a voice storytelling thing. Where we have to get from point A to point B. Point B being the tail ending. Like, mm -hmm. commoner endings. Outsider no. endings. Nightly tail endings. Sea fairy endings. Chanton endings. Or the nobility endings. Dang, you're being Basically, serious. as far as I understand it, the only, the, the only uh, goal to this game is to uh, essentially just make a, make a story. Description of play. The first storyteller <laughs> tries to tell the story. Whenever she mentions an element of one of her cards, she places the card face up on the table. If a story manager mentions something in a story that is an element of one of the other player's cards, then that player can interrupt her and take over the story. There's also some special cards that allow the player to interrupt the storyteller at other times. Um, when a player has played all of her cards by including them in the story, she can play her happy ending card and win the game. So I suppose that's one way to see it as well. Uh, we have ten. We start with ten. No, not ten cards. We are three people, so we start with eight cards each. And as far as I understand it, um, we're gonna have one of those need to be a happy ending card. Uh, Dave? Each happy, each have. Okay. Each sorry. happy ever after card contains a possible ending for the fairy tale. Each player receives only one of these cards and must do their best to tell the story, uh, so it will reach this ending. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so oh god, thinking about it, this is storytelling, you know. It is. <laughs> it is storytelling. Yay! Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, there's also a rule where if you pause in your story, you can easily be uh, you lose your turn. They're so, also passing. Enough. If the storyteller wish, uh, wishes, she can end her turn at any time by saying pass. A player uh, who passes must pick the card from the Once Upon a Time deck and uh, may also uh, may also discard a card from her hand. Or but may also. If, if, you, if you find yourself there's some cards you can't use, you can say pass to toss a card and pick up a new one. Mm -hmm. now... I, uh, the player then moves on to the player to the left. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna roll to see who goes first. That would Actually, be most there's wise. A, there's a, there's an in-game mechanic for it. Oh, okay. Um, the in-game mechanic, the in-game mechanic is whoever has uh, the card uh, in your hand that is the closest to the start of the alphabet, uh, discarding words like A and D. So, for example, so apples it's... goes uh, goes after acorns. Or angry, which goes after. Acorns, Sorry. but before apples. Because go, also goes before goes after acorns. But yeah. There are two ways of interrupting. I should probably say this as well. If the storyteller mentions something from another card uh, in a player's hand, that's one way. And the other way is when a storyteller plays a card, she may be interrupted by any player who has an interrupt card. Um, when it comes to when it comes to people uh, stopping, like stopping in their uh, storytelling and stuff like that, could uh, we could have our own rule as like if someone has a continuation and they find a uh, sufficient enough gap for it and the player hasn't said pass yet, but then again they'll be interrupting the uh, rotation of the game. Dave, you took them. Up. I guess I'll restart the room. Honestly, 
<laughs> Honestly, as far as I um, as far as I can see it, uh, I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. Why all the loading? Because she's rewinding. Oh, right, I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as far as I um, as far as I can see it, like we have to deal um, we have to deal x amount of uh, cards to each other. Like, we're going to have eight cards each. And well, just as an example, uh, how many was it in the nightly deck? The nightly deck was 32. Well, the nightly deck still. was 38. <coughs> 38, right. Uh, 38? Guys, oh, you're right, because table. you tossed them out. That would be for the better. Oh, okay. So we go with but Enchanted honestly, Tales. Because I, I assume that's the first... They don't... You don't uh, stack the uh, endings and the themes. Yeah, I know. I wasn't doing that. Once upon a time, storytelling card, storytelling card. All oh, that's the same card back. Yeah. I, I assume that they Should have... we all... What are you trying to say, Dane? I was going to say, should we also include commoners into this as well? Or will we only start with one deck? That's up to you. That's up um, to us. I've... I would suggest, I would suggest at least combining one other deck. Okay. Just uh, oh, just for the, just nightly. for variety's sake. Nightly. Okay, no. <laughs> Come on. You know we we could roll a die. Yeah. Three. Yeah, let's let's do that. Four, five, and then re-roll on six. E. Yep. Other other than that, I would say we all pick one and then we roll for uh, to see who gets it. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Save so job. each of us get a dice. Ah, not saved objects. I want components. Then I want dice, and then I want plastic, and then I guess I want this one. There we go. Cool. So, of course. Call that a roll. <laughs> There's a rule variant for exchanging endings. At the time of the story and pass play to the next player on your left, you can discard your ending card to pick up a new one from the top top of the ending deck. If you do this, you must take two uh, cards three. from the top of the storytelling deck instead of one card as well. So three. One, two... I guess we have outside. You also want to play as well? Oh, nice. That was the one I was rooting for. Okay. So flip. Flip. And then shuffle the fuck out of them. And then you just hover and press A. For me, it's, it's press R. R. Dane, did you grab all your cards? Or no. Well, Doc, why do you have a lot of cards? Because he you start with eight his... aspect cards and one one happy ending. Yeah, I was gonna hit the deal button. I mean, if you want me to put it back, I can do that as well. Yeah, I want Dane to, too. All right. Go. There we go. That's not that it. Must... <laughs> that <was> not... <laughs> That's still not it. That was the, there that, that's what you may call an enchanting an encounter with the cards. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Do we will look. Okay. So I for keep forgetting I have to hold longer to pick him up. Damn it. Oh god, they oh, all they all went together. together. What have you done? Eh, that's fine. <laughs> it's good. Ooh, that is a very pretty uh, hidden card thing. So it's eight? Eight. Yeah, eight each. So one more. There we go. And then you end it with a... Um... Draw. Then you end it with a single... Yeah, you just drew one for yourself. You <laughs> drew for yourself. Draw one for yourself as well. I hit deal. You hit draw on the last one. Oh, fuck me. Okay. I got a CA as my lowest. Okay. 
I have a oh. space. Sorry, I am trying to zoom in. But yeah, so uh, let's talk about the weather a bit, I suppose. Um, uh, it's been... I got a B. Oh, nice. However, I do believe yeah, B so been, uh... is out to A. Okay. It's been a combination of raining raining constantly half the day and being hot half the day <laughs> over here in Norway. It's very fun. Uh, it's stormy weather without the, without the thunderclaps, which is a bit of a sad thing for me, but oh well. All right, so I believe I get to go first. Mm -hmm. Did you have a B? I had an A. Oh, all right, you did. So, <clears throat> I just, guess uh, I should just, start. Just, 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 just keep in mind and read over all your aspect cards. Know what you have and all that. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So... I can't do. I can't all of a sudden just start throwing out every single aspect card, right? I don't know. Uh, you start us. You start playing an aspect card and start telling a story around that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, whenever you talk about another aspect, yeah, if you talk about like an aspect of the story, um, it involves your cards. You place them down, but be wary. If you talk about something I have, I get to put my card down instead. Mm -hmm. Like incidentally. Mm -hmm. Let's right then. let's just so, let's just randomly right, say you talk about a, a a bottle of beer or something like that. If you talk about that and I have that, I can place that down, interrupt you, and snatch the story from you. All right. So I will then start as our tale begins with a promise, a promise made by a lovely little girl to her mother to make sure that she would be able to go to the woods to pick some fruit for her family. Because that's what little girls do. So little girl Alice goes running off into the woods in order to go pick up some apples for her mother. As she kind of delves deep into the forest. Kind of loses her way as she goes further in. Uh, and she meets... Dane, I'm going to interrupt. <sighs> okay. Loses her way is the same Getting thing lost. as lost. Ah, oh, damn it. Agreed. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we agree Kaya with takes that. the reins. Kaya takes the reins. The little girl is lost in the woods, and as she gets closer to crying, a bird comes down and starts to sing to her. It tells her that there's a monster in the woods. And that she must find her fairy godmother and receive... I, 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 complete, I completely forgot this thing can talk. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the monster and godmother both get sent right back to your hand. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine with the monster and godmother being out. Well, to be so... fair, this thing can talk and then I'd put out monster. Yes, <laughs> yes. To be to be fair, if I'm going to be honest, you were rushing things a bit, but I suppose that's part of the, uh, one way of playing the game as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the bird just keeps on talking, and it talks about this uh, this godmother who is in fact a fairy. It's a godmother is a fairy, and it keeps on talking about something the little girl just can't understand. Uh, it's something that she has never really been never really been um, uh, exposed to before he keeps mentioning something about a curse about that little girl being cursed and forever ones that lost so girl just uh, stares on at this bird and asks well, what, well bird what, what should I do what should I do well listen to this you gotta go you gotta go see the fairy godmother and she'll have the curse right and we get for you right no girl, not being able to understand a word of what the little bird says, just said, well, fuck it, I'm going to wander into the woods then. And after wandering a bit, she hears some wolves howling in the distance. And she can uh, uh, she starts getting freaked out. Hold. 
Well, then you take over, Dave. Those wolves that howl in the horizon turned out to actually be where turned out to be <laughs> so Paris got that turned turned out to be a strange amalgamation of wolf and a <laughs> because you have entered the kingdom of the fairies <laughs> where strange magical creatures roam all over the place Mm-hmm. <laughs> so these sent this uh, this werewolf centaur horseman just start uh, approaching this little girl when out of nowhere a unicorn comes out of the brush and just starts jabbing its horn into the sides of the centaur uh, werewolf horseman because um, uh, because the little girl is clearly clearly needs some help uh, or at least that is what the little girl thinks for herself. Little did you know. That the werewolf, not the werewolf, the um, uh, the unicorn is in actuality a witch who's going to put her in a cauldron later to to eat. <laughs> I don't know where this story is going. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pass this to Kage. Okay. I'm going to draw a card and pass it to Kage. Come have fun on. with that one. I mean, you have to admit, this is hilarious. Oh, yes, sorry. that uh, is why I suggested we play this. I derailed the story hard. <laughs> okay, so Dane added a huntsman. And no, now no, werewolves well, that are centaurs. I, 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 I added the wolf, which Dane said they were <laughs> they were werewolves who were also lumberjacks who were partial, partially. Um... Actually, you know, we should we should probably put this in in the timeline if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Okay. So the timeline is Anyways. a promise, followed by lost, suddenly becoming lost. Bird. If we're going to be technical, if we're going to be technical about it, bird, and then this thing can talk just because of what it does, and then the other ones. Uh, uh, monster. monster, fairy godmother. Yeah. That. Yep. Fairy godmother that turned out to be a fairy. Little girl is forever cursed to wander. When she hears some wolves up in the distance, that turned out to be turned out lumberjacks. To be lumberjack werewolf centaurs from a kingdom. <laughs> the, the fairy kingdom. She's, she had entered the fairy kingdom of magic. Um, a unicorn came out of the brush, saved the girl. Um, not out of good heart because she wanted to put her in a cauldron and eat her. That's where I passed okay. it over to Kage. Okay, and this house and uh, this witch lived in a swamp. You guys can fix that. Whereupon, yeah, I can do it. Whereupon the little girl had to break out. Therefore, as the witch bent over to taste the soup. The little girl pulled her in as well and used her to climb out. Upon leaving... Would you say that she had to use a, uh, an extraneous uh, amount of effort to get this done? God damn it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work killing a witch. <laughs> it is hard work killing a witch. So, it's you. Okay, um, well done. Did you put... She pushes the she pushes the witch into the cauldron, and so well that's that done. And I, was, I guess I gotta get uh, gotta try to get out of here. And she walks out the door and hear a familiar chirping. Um, oh, is that a birdie again? She thinks to herself. She looks around uh, in the trees, but she can't see another bird. Um, and then she hears the chirping um, coming from behind her again. And says, "Look, look, uh, nice thing do you hear again, love?" Turns around and, see, and she sees the bird, but not in the form she previously previously saw him. Because this is the fairy land of magical kingdom and stuff like that, uh, it turns out that the bird actually has an anthropomorphized form, which is just a naked man's body from the fi from the from the from the neck down, and the head is just a bird's head sticking so straight up. Would you say it cost? It, it, would you say that the bird had to cast a spell to take on the appearance? And, and then, then well, Kage is who's gonna Kage is putting an interrupt playing an inter interrupt card, so uh, I'm gonna let it. Oh damn it! And then, the bird man 
placed a kiss upon her head and said, My darling, you must venture forward into the storm. There's a storm card. And find the glass slippers to remove the curse. So the little girl ventures in, fights her way through all tribulations, and as she picks up the glass slippers, oh, the she found them! She found them! <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! You, you hung on that word just a bit, Kage. Well, like, how do we end the story? Well, she finds the slipper and she turns around and sees, sees the naked bird again and gave her a kiss. And despite its hideous form, she grew to love him. <laughs> All right. So, I obviously spent now, too much time fucking around with a story. There is actually read this because there's actually a um, actually a rule variant of multiple endings. In this version, you have to deal with two uh, or oh, two happy ending cards. Either which you can play to win. That is okay. That's you can play with two cards instead of just one. That was fun. What's your card, Kake? <laughs> What's your happy ending? The curse was lifted, as had been foretold. <laughs> I was about My to play dead. to win. Oh. And my ending was, and so the wish perished in her own cauldron, which Kage happened to have played. So no, I guess I guess you were like I guess you were happy when I played the cauldron card, the unicorn who turned up with the witch with a cauldron. Yeah. Yeah, this was this was a riot. Oh, good lord. Also, Dane, no, no, no. Uh, one of those cards is a happily ever, happily ever after card. I already removed it. It was right I here. I wasn't sure if you had or not. I was just making sure. There you go. I... Yeah, good lord. That was fun. Honestly, I want to play well, again. <laughs> let's do it. I mean, we only... We spent as much time explaining this game as it took to play Jumanji. We can... Well, it's a more complicated game. And it good is. lord, I'm going to play this again with other people. Oh, yeah, no. And there's also... Evening time. Oh, I was going to say, we could also make a third episode this time. <laughs> no, no, Kage. Okay. We could play another one. Okay. Um, okay, so do we, want to... do we want to play with the alternate ending? Uh, with the uh, dual endings where we have one of two choices, or do we just have one each? I say, let's do it. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god, do what do it? I have in my goddamn hand? I, I don't think... Oh god. Did we remember to... Uh, oh I don't gosh. think we remembered to shuffle the, uh, the deck, did we? Oh, I, no, I shuffled the fuck out of them. Then that's very funny because half of my cards are cards we've already saw a uh, scene. Can I change in my deck? Because I, good lord, I have half the stuff we already had. Fine. Sure, like four of my, four of my eight cards. Like, okay, so we have found, we have horse, I have theory. Actually, no, it's five. I have uh, hard work and I've godmother. Good lord. Dane, you suck. I had. Suck. You suck at shuffling. I shuffled the fuck out of them. Thank you very much. I do not know how I'm going to win with this. With this, uh, lot of cards. Uh, Alright. I don't know how uh, to steamroll this like I did last time. As we, uh, as we learned <laughs> from, the. Uh... We learn from GMing and playing uh, tabletop games. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be playing all the time. 
uh, you could just be bullshitting and kibbing about a bit. I mean, I always... That's how I DM. You've never been in one of my games with the... My DM style is bullshit. Pretty much. Okay, okay so, so I got a, I got a B. No. I got a B E. I have a C A. So Will that has me B. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on, I need to look again. That's the same card. Oh, I have a B A. Ooh. Next letter of the next letter you two. B A B A. What's next? L. Well. B A L. Whale duck. B E D. What goes first? Well, B A goes before the B E. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm tired. Shush. That is uh, that is that is honestly legit. Hold on. It's a good reason. Talk this map. There we go. No, not. I just had to put in the <clears throat> chat this fucking game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is amazing. <clears throat> okay, Kage, start us off. I'm le I legit feel like trying to find a uh, proper copy of this game, like a physical one. Oh, it's... Yeah, no, I don't blame you. So, once upon a time, there was a dragon who was very lonely. One night, he decided to disguise himself to go into town. However, once he went into town, he was mistaken as a noble. It didn't help that his human form was fat. And he liked. Meanwhile, far away. <laughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, far away. Uh, oh, good lord. Let me just get this uh, over yeah. here so we have some space to play, place, it, place it with. Meanwhile, Meanwhile far, away, area far away. <laughs> um, the wicked godmother of the fairy cartels were planning to do a hit on the dragon because he had. Because he had wronged, uh, wronged her family in the past. So, she's been uh, planning uh, an assassination on this man for a very, very long time now. And she just, she's decided um, to hire one of, uh, <laughs> one of the best assassins yet. A bird. Now, this wasn't like a normal bird. This was, this was uh, oh god. Le, Le Jacques Francois. The most renowned been now, been uh, poison, uh, uh, poisoner in all of the Seven Kingdoms. His job was to follow um, follow the dragon around town as he meandered about, and try to find out if there was any way he could get him to ingest some of the poison that he had um, stashed away in between his lofty talons. <clears throat> oh, good lord. So, after walking about town for a bit, the dragon, grew, uh, the dragon grew tired, and instead of just walking all the way back to his cave, they started to, rent, to rent, uh, go to a local inn and rent a bedchamber. Uh, however, uh. the local bed, or the local uh, inn was in ruins. After the dragon slept through the night and burned down the place. <laughs> he then <coughs> needed to. So for the night, this thing can fly. You mean? <laughs> Sorry, no. As an as an inappropriate use. As uh, well for an object, I suppose. And <clears throat> as he needed to get some clothes, he was fitted with some fine clothes. And then, because dreaming that he may once meet the love of his life. <laughs> Now the dragon had long lusted, lusted for the um, for the fairy mother, for the for the fairy uh, godmother of the go godmother of the fairy cartel. Now it may have been, seemed like a romantic gesture to him, but she took it as a major slight. So the dragon uh, took flight into the into the sky in search of his love, and uh, smelling her on the horizon, he. 
he just tried to find out where the hell she was, just following the trail, until he got to a... Um... Oh, good lord, this is going to be... Oh, good lord, I can ham fest this ending so hard right now. Like, it would not... It will be a very, very speed-dating form of card. <laughs> Uh, actually, fuck it. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Dorothy, on this ship. <laughs> so, dragon flying about notices the godmother scheming, um, looking towards the town. She does not see him approaching. Him, overcome with lust, goes in for a big kiss, and upon touching her uh, his lips to hers, she burst into bubbles, and the city rejoiced because that kiss <laughs> freed the. Uh, that city from the, the clutches of the fairy cartel. I didn't even get to play. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, I you know. gotta you gotta be on point, babe. You gotta listen out. You gotta be but... quick witted. Shut up. Did you <laughs> I, have any I cards? Rest. I had two, but unfortunately, I didn't know a good time to play because you guys were going through your cards so quickly. It's like when do I interrupt? When do I interrupt? Whenever the two you can. Gotta be on it, mate. <laughs> The two interrupts oh, I had oh. were these two. Yeah, like those cards. Uh, those cards are literally like you can bump in whenever. You can literally just yeah. say yeah, like, I... like, oh, the dragon, went in, the dragon went into town from the opposite side of the town came an ogre. Or like, yeah. Eric Godman returned. Or like, uh, uh, Jacques returned like, with the poison finally. Yeah. Uh, That's the thing though. What's irritating is, is that I'm not that quick with it. Yeah, well, then you suck at this game. <laughs> Getting cut on victory. Shall we uh, try two different decks then? Oh, this is two decks. Round. Yeah. Yeah, what, well, two other yeah, ones? Yeah, let's, let's try two other decks. Let's go with Knightly and Noble. Let's say what uh, about Knightly and Seafaring? Oh, that, can be, that can be an interesting one. Yeah, I mean, they wanted nightly, so let's at least get that one out. Honestly, as far as I'm concerned, knights and uh, knights and mobility already go to uh, go like hand in hand. Oh shit though. I'm looking at the time. <clears throat> I just got back from a big skip in audio, I guess. Oh. Why'd you throw a deck across the table? What is this thing? I'm not throwing it, I'm flicking it. This thing can talk apparently. But yeah, so wanna wanna try for another round or shall we call it the night, literally? Well, when's your game? Uh I don't think there's gonna be a uh a game tonight. I at least not with the Dame being the so tired as he is. I mean if you want to play and everyone can play, then yeah, sure. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm capable of playing. Well, in that case, I'm going to the conch, as it were. Yeah, if, I'm at his if, D &D. if you can manage, then... Oh, yeah, right. Because he has two games tonight, apparently. Or two games today, apparently. Two games today? That's what Stripe said last night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go poke Strife, see if he's awake. I mean, he is. It's noon. On a Tuesday, he's at work. <laughs> I just like that. Don't worry. At least want to read some of the seafaring decks. Okay. 
Actually, I want to see some of, some of these endings. Yeah, no, the game. This is, what, this is one of those games. This is one of those games where I can imagine, like, you could honestly play this with uh, with additional blank cards and, like, write and put it in the deck beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> The strange hey, question. creature saving from watery grave. Answer. Yep, what's up? Uh, while we wait to figure out if we're playing, would you guys want to join me today for uh, brain, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition? But you chose uh, to stay with a pirate, Dane. But, Dane, I was, uh, I was saying that if you need to go, I'm going to go sleep. Well, then, best we end today's episode. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you. I hope you give a like and subscribe to the channel. And this has been Dane, Eureka, and Well Duck signing off. The fairy mother cartel shall live once more. <laughs> Later. I didn't get to play today. <laughs>